गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द एबसेक्ट डेटा टाइप एबसेक्ट डेटा टाइप और ए डी टी आर नथिंग बट दिस इज दिस इज बेसिकली दिस इज ए मैथमेटिकल मॉडल इन विच दे आर डिफाइंड वेयर ए डेटा टाइप इज डिफाइंड बाय इट्स बिहेवियर और द सीमेंटिक्स सो दिस वीडियो कवर्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एबसेक्ट डेटा टाइप the difference between the abstract data type and the data structure and uh, uh, different different uh, abstract data types and uh, then a exam example uh, like uh, list parity we will see how it can be represented and uh, what is the difference between the representation and the operations so let us see so we can say and abstract data type or cdd in short is a specification of values and specification of 
operations are separated from the representation This is basically separate from the representation, from the representation of values and the operations which act on those values. In other words, we can say the implementation details are basically hidden. So we normally focus on the what means what is that data, but how it will be implemented, it is hidden. So, in other words, we can say the implementation details are hidden. <coughs> and we know that this is a very popular feature of the object oriented programming language that is the abstraction where the implementation details are the hidden. Now, for example, we can take the examples This is like list ADD This is list ADD, list absent data type Second is stack ADD, this is stack absent data type Q ADD, this is Q abstract data type. So these are the abstract data types. Now we will consider now consider list ADD. Now we know that list is nothing but this is the collection of element. List is a are which can be ordered or unordered. So now we are discussing this list entity and the primitive operations on this list may be the primitive operations A list 
contains and what it does. But we are not concerned how the elements are represented and how operations are performed means we are not concerned with the how but we are concerned with the what so this is this is how and this is what so in f side data type basically we are not concerned with the how means how the implementation can be done but what a list what is a list and what it can do we are only concerned with that so this implementation can be done later on Now we will see an example. Example, this is the representation of list A. Suppose consider a list. Consider a list consists of consists of elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let us consider it. the representation of the list entity. is having a list and this list is containing the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now we will see it can use different different data structures so here we will see how these data structures can be used to represent this list so normally it can use it can use it can use for data structures first it can use a linear list second it can use a matrix it can use a tree it can use a graph so these are the four data structures with this list entity can be used now we can understand it in more better way by seeing the diagram now we will see the first representation This is the first representation. It is the suppose this is the list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine. So this is let us suppose this is figure A, and this is a. linear list the second figure we can use a matrix so these this is one Eight, nine. 
these are the nine elements which can be represented by using the this is matrix another way we can use a tree so this is a tree 